Hey everybody, Zach Kortz with Revzilla here. I'm in Paris, California at a go-kart track, which is what the sound is in the background, a go-kart, with this little buddy of mine. That is an Ovale GP0 190. So it's a 190cc air-cooled uh, four-stroke engine, a little 150-pound chassis, 10-inch wheels, um, and is designed for ripping around go-kart tracks and training to become better on a motorcycle and also have a little bit of fun. So we're gonna see if we can't have a little bit of fun once this four-wheeled fella is done. So let's take a spin, shall we? <laughs> you okay everybody here we go Ovali GP0 190 uh, we can take a little bit closer look at some of the components we have here like I said 190 cc air-cooled four valve four-stroke engine 187 cc's technically uh, kick start so we'll experiment with that in a minute uh, 33 millimeter inverted fork uh, which is pretty high-tech stuff <laughs> pretty cool and um, custom bodywork made in Italy there's a little oil cooler in here that you can see um, cooling down the engine engine holds nine tenths of a liter of oil so everything's very very small 10 inch wheels um, yeah it's just a, a tiny tiny little machine uh, about 150 pounds total ready to ride um, the fuel tank holds about uh, nine tenths of a gallon just under a gallon of gas one number that's not particularly small is the price uh, which is like uh, 6,500, 7,000 bucks for this model right here, which is the um, almost full Zoot bike. They also have a board out one that comes with a bunch of carbon fiber stuff, but this is basically the top of the line. Um, but then again, it's hand built in Italy and uh, it's a pretty well engineered little piece. Anyway, enough talking. Let's take this sucker for a ride, shall we? Pretty rad sounding little machine, right? <laughs> Okie dokie, we're gonna pull it off the stand, and we're gonna hit the track. Bear with me. Okie doke team, here we go. Out onto the track. Probably gonna get passed by some people here as I talk you through this machine. It is uh GP shift, so that means this one's set up to go up for down, down for up. <laughs> There we go, ripping around Apex here in Southern California. We'll get some heat in these tires and then we can bail around. But it is remarkable, I will say, how much it reminds me of riding a full-size bike. <laughs> it's not like, uh, whoa, <laughs> pretty rad, man. It's not like riding some mini bikes where you think, oh, these are theories that I could apply to riding a big bike. It actually just feels like a small version of a full-size motorcycle. And some of the grip characteristics are very similar. I mean, it's really a really capable little machine. <laughs> yeah. It's more capable than I am, which honestly can be kind of frustrating because one of the things I always liked about riding mini bikes is that I'm more capable than the bike is, so I can override the machine, which is really fun. But with an Ovale, I can't really override it. I'm not really good enough. <laughs> and that, of course, makes it a really good training tool for kids and adults alike. Ah, it means that I really have to focus when I ride it. Yeah. All right, so I'll try and wick up the pace a little bit and talk you through riding it around without making a fool of myself. It changes direction so quickly. It feels really twitchy when you first get on it. You have to get used to how quick it changes direction. <laughs> but realistically, that's just a, you know, a factor of it being really light and small and also having a really, really short wheelbase. That's what happens. Bikes turn quickly. Oh my God. <laughs> now it's six foot two. I'm arguably a little bit too big for this bike. Don't quite fit it. And since I'm test riding it, I don't have the ability to make a lot of huge changes. But if you're above six feet, 
and you want to get an Ovali, I just recommend sitting on one first. Woo! Big rear wheel slide. <laughs> You also want to make sure the suspension's custom. This shock is too soft. God, too soft for me. Which makes it hard for me to get on the gas coming out of corners. <laughs> you can probably hear me panting. That's a lot of work. But again, that's why it's such a badass little training tool. Because you can fly around corners. So much capability. You're not going to run out of grip or capability from the bike before you do. Which is why it's better than a, arguably a little mini motor or something like that. Woo! Yeah, guys hacking it out. The Ovale. The Ovale is rated at 25 horsepower, this 190cc engine. And considering it only weighs 150 pounds, that's pretty good. Pretty good power to weight ratio. We got bombed by another 450. The big bike. <laughs> Try and keep up with it. Ah! Ah! Just a better rider than I am. It's my problem. <laughs> it's a rad little machine. Super fun. <laughs> so I hope you learned a thing or two riding along with me here on this Ovale. I'm gonna put my hand up. We're gonna pull off. We'll take one more look and listen at this thing. And then I'll let you go. Okay team, I hope you had fun. That was a blast riding around on this little sucker, right? Uh, last thing I'll say is please remember to check out Common Tread at Revzilla.com. I wrote a little article. There's a link in the description of this video. There's a photo gallery and some more specs and information about the Ovale. I'm breathing hard. I gotta go. See you guys. Ah! <laughs> My buttocks is too big for this motorcycle.